Hello everyone. Uh, hope you guys are doing good. Um, in the last video, I'll just shown you the prototyping of how we can, you know, query with our PDF, all the sort of things and technical things, what, how we can do all the sort of things, right? So in today's video, I'm going to show you more depth like this part, this, this prototype I just shown. And today's video, I'm going to show you how we can implement this part in form of the code, right? So let's begin the video without getting delay. So few things we have to install. Uh, you can use the uh, like uh, Colab, Google Colab, and as well as in your local system also, you can do these things. We are going to use LangChain. LangChain is very popular mod library in Python after this LLM came into the picture. Like, um, uh, so, <clears throat> so here we are going to pass the LangChain. LangChain is again, language model, uh, which which not only, not language model, it seems like, like a library. Oh, which which do many things like okay if you are going to do the conversation there is a what context of this conversation is used to remember means it have the memory and there is another another things which is called agent agent is very let me show you directly uh, so go to the website of langchain so this is the langchain yeah this is the library official website of langchain and there is a many components are there langchain installation and you can see there is a many components are there like uh, chain memory agent callback so just try to understand all the things and uh, they'll show you so whenever we are going to deal with any kind of chatbot then we are going to use this chain memory and agent concept what is the chain chain is like a conversation what the conversation has to be built uh if you guys remember like rasa Rasa is also doing the sort of the same thing, but Langchain is more pop popular right now and powerful than the Rasa. And there is another concept is called agents. Agents is like, um, uh, is the, you can say like, uh, it's a API, which help you to call any third party API. Let's suppose you want to book a ticket in make my trip. Just I'm taking the example. So after understanding what is the context and what, what is the source and destination and the journey date, we have to call the book ticket, right? API. So that API will get called by the agent callback after doing all the sort of things, what action has to be performed, that things we are going to store doing with the help of the callback. So there is a many things, many things kind of memory concept, it used to remember the context uh, and all the sort of things. Many, many power, powerful APIs are there inside of LangChain. So I would request please walk through this, uh, this like in a document and it is very well maintained document. Now coming to the part back to our P, uh, this uh, Jupyter notebook or you can say Colab. So here we are going to use the LangChain, OpenAI, OpenAI, everyone knows PyPDF to read the PDF. Then there is a one thing called Face CPU. What is the Face CPU? Face CPU stands for Facebook AI. Facebook AI semantic search. Okay. So what it does, it, it's an open source library again, uh, developed by the Facebook. So Facebook is used means a phase is kind of, uh, whenever as, as I mentioned in this PDF, here we have to build a semantic search. So we are not going to build by own. There is a library which, which used to build this kind of things. So we have to pass the query and then we have to call the sem semantic search function will do the semantic search from the knowledge base and it will get the answer so that for that reason we are going to use the face and cpu because we are going to use the cpu and tick token is tick token is the, to get our token token so now let's do all the sort of things we are going to import pdf lang chain open ai embedding so as I told, you can go to this diagram in my second video, I just explained, we have to convert our text in form of the embedding. For that, we have to use the embeddings. Uh, either you can use the vector embedding, but open source keep their own embedding. So I'm calling this open AI embedding. Then we are going to use the text splitter because uh, uh, as you know, like PDF size is very big. We have, we can't pass the complete PDF and ask the question with the chat GPT, uh, right? So it will token, token exhausted error will come, right? So for that, what we are trying to do, we are going to convert that te entire text in form of the chunks. So for that, we are going to use uh, this character text splitter, and then we are going to use the vector store because we have to, uh, you know, and then we have to restore this, uh, uh, embeddings in, in some DB, you can see in this diagram, knowledge base KB. So here we are, so we are going to use this, uh, 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 this storage unit. You can say search, understand like vector store. And uh, 
for that again i will pass this notebook as well in my chat uh, means the description you can walk through and here you have to pass your open ai key right so you can pass the open ai key and here i am going to mount my google drive just mounting the google drive and then here you have to pass your pdf here you have to pass the pdf uh whatever pdf so i stored my pdf in my drive i gave this location and that's all the sort of things and then what i'm trying to do we are going to convert the whole text in form of the raw text and you can see this this whole text has been converted from the raw text and what are we going to do we are going to take from beginning to till 100 character we are going to consider from the raw text and this is the character now what we are trying to do we are going to uh, here here is the important thing right here we are going to do these things so is mentioned in the diagram like text chunk one text chunk two text chunk three and text chunk n so we are going to convert this text entire text into the chunks so here we are going to use the character text splitter and here we are going to use the slash and separator and chunk size is thousand means thousand thousand uh, uh, no, what we call character will come and chunk overlap 200 means what i'm trying to say just try to understand one two hundred zero two hundred one chunk created next chunk will start from the 801 to till 1800 something just try to understand 1799 so till this 200 chunk will get overlap and uh, length function alien and we are going to use this split and raw text we are going to split and now we are going to check what is the length of this uh, text so eight text is there text zero is what text one is the what this, this kind of things we are now we are going to call the open ai embedding here and with this embedding what we are trying to do we are going to use the uh, text and we are going to convert into the embeddings similar we are going to do for the whole text and all the set set of things and here we are going to pass the query who is the author of these things Sim is so we are going to ch check the similarity score uh, similarity search and we are going to give the get the answer so you can see we are getting the answer uh, with the help of the phase like phase is going to con means do the semantic search with your text and it will get the answer all those sort of things so similarly, I did this thing, this kind of question. I'm just doing the testing here. Uh, many testing, I did it and I get the answer. So yeah, this is just an experiment. I did it. Now I will convert this experiment into the full flesh application in the next video so that you guys can understand how we can do the end-to-end -end application development, right? So this is just a just a exploration's purpose. I did this research here in the notebook. Now I will show you how we can develop as a full fleshed application in the next video. So with it, please stay tuned with this video. In the next video, upcoming video, I'll show you how we can convert into the full fleshed application uh, so that you guys can show these things in your uh, resume. Uh, it will add the value definitely. And also uh, in this playlist only, I will show you without chat, these things we did it with the help of the chat GPT, right? In the next video means like in the coming video i i would love to talk about without using the chat gpt because that is important chat gpt is what it's just a calling an api right can we build our own llm yes we can do we can do it's like a very common task in nlp right now like semantic search text to embeddings these are the very common thing this can for these things we no need to train our fine tune our llm right llm whatever market in market llm available like open source llm google flaunt t5 and lama v2 these kind of these things can be doable with this library with this model we can easily do these things right i will i would love to talk about these things in coming video but uh, for that please stay tuned with these videos and uh, um if you if you are new to this channel please i would request you guys please to subscribe um the channel so that you will never miss the update and also uh it help us to motivate uh to build uh, new videos so with this thank you thank you for watching this video i uh coming to the next video with uh, our end-to-end -end application development